What's up, guys? We're back with another pitch meeting. This one was requested. Tenant, we actually just watched this movie. Actually, I kind of watched this movie. Linda tried to watch the movie. Tenet, she gave it a shot, <laughs> but it just wasn't I gave for it her. A fair shot. She gave it a fair shot. She hung in there for like a good 30, 40 minutes. And she almost was like, an hour. almost an hour. And I think you either passed out or fell asleep or no, you're, no. I, I just was like, that's it. I'm done. I, it's too confusing. So confused. I am so done with this movie. This movie sucks. <laughs> she keeping it real. All right. So we're going <laughs> to react to this uh, tennis pitch meeting. I heard it's good. I'm hearing it's good. It was requested. Let's check it out. So your you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's called Tenet. Okay. So we're gonna follow this guy, right? The protagonist. And what's his name? I just told you. Oh. And he's gonna be part of this operation <laughs> at an opera house, right? And there's some weird stuff going on. Like he's saved by what seems to be a backwards bullet. Oh, yeah. interesting. And then he gets tortured by some bad guys and takes a little pill to kill himself. Oh, okay. I mean, very short movie, but still very enjoyable. No, that's, we're still gonna keep going. Oh, even better. Yeah, so it turns out being willing to take that pill was a test and he's being recruited into this organization called Tenant. That's the name of the movie. It is. And so he's going to talk to this guy for a little bit. Sure, sure. And then sure, he's going to sure. go talk to the scientist lady for a little bit. And what's uh -huh. she going to tell him? Well, she's going to tell him about this thing called inversion, right? Okay. And when things are inverted, they move backwards through time instead of forwards because mm. they have reverse entropy. Oh, uh, scientific sounding things that I don't fully grasp are tight. So like <laughs> the protagonist can catch an inverted bullet that's lodged into that. something using I... his gun, right? Right? Stuff like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, sounds cool. Just how? No. No, yeah, okay. And he can also like, catch an inverted bullet with his hand off a table. But as the scientist yeah, okay. explains, he has to have dropped it. Like, if you watch the tape, he's always the cause of it moving, whether forwards or backwards, oh, you know? Right. Right, yeah, okay. Yeah. You get it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, I'm just I'm just kind of wrapping my head around it, but yeah, okay. Well, we're going to have that scientist lady literally say, don't try to understand it. Just feel it. So you can go that route if you want. Okay. I mean, I would like to understand, though, so I could kind of follow what's going on, but... <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 I'll get there. Anyway, so He's she low. reveals Don't that try. these inverted objects keep getting sent back from the future, right? Okay. And she thinks that maybe these are like remnants of a future war and that the world might end, but like in the past. Okay. <laughs> And so why did you continue that sentence what in a completely happened? different place? Oh, well, sometimes we're going to do that thing where a single conversation kind of spans over different locations just to keep things dynamic on screen, you know? Right, okay, I mean, that does look good, but that means that the characters talk and then kind of pause their conversation, what change locations, on? and then keep talking. Yeah, it just keeps exposition scenes a little more fun to watch, you know? So then... I, what are you doing? I'm calling an Uber back to the office so I can finish that thought. All right. All right, he'll be here in seven minutes. Wow, seven minutes, okay. Oh man, this is just as confusing so as the movie. So then the protagonist has to go talk to this other They're guy, back. Neil. Oh, he's gonna go talk to somebody else now. Okay, yeah. and after that, he's gotta go talk to this other guy. Okay, a lot of going from person to person and talking so far. Yeah, mm -hmm. but here's the thing. Mm -hmm. This time it turns out it wasn't actually a guy he was supposed to go see. Thing. Turns out it was this I'm lady. Uh, okay, well, yeah, no, that is a pretty good twist, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> right. Okay, so he's finally with the lady he needs to be talking to. He is, yeah, and she's an arms dealer. Amazing, okay, so what does he find out from her? <laughs> well, you're he's gonna like, like, okay, get to the point. have to go talk to another guy. Okay, and this guy, he tells him all about having to go talk to another guy. Oh my God, but to get to that guy, he's gonna have to talk to this lady first. What is going on? Oh, don't worry, now this lady is one of the main characters. So we're, we're on track now. Okay, thank God, so who is this lady? Well, her name is Kat, and she's married to this Russian oligarch named Sador, and she freaking hates this guy. Oh, oh come. He's actually controlling her, because she sold him a counterfeit painting, so now he's like, well, you can't see our son. Very rude. Yeah, extremely. Okay, so now I know a little bit about this cat lady. Tell me more about this protagonist guy. What's his backstory? Tell me about him. No. Well, what's no. what's his, what's his character no. or past? Okay, what's his no. like? What's his emotional stake in the story? Well, he doesn't want the world to end, right? Understandable, None. but what, like emotionally? Well, he lives in the world, so you know he doesn't want it to end. There's okay. no character. He seems really invested in this cat no lady. Character. Like he really wants to there protect her. He seems to have some nothing. kind of bond with her. Oh, okay. Well, tell me more about that. No. Ah. no. Look, it's just that I really want the movie concept and the action scenes to have a ton of breathing room, so we're not really going to spend time on stuff like like characters and stuff. Okay. I mean, it's going to be a little tough for me to care about the story if you don't give me anything in that department though but it's gonna look very cool oh it's gonna be very cool okay i didn't realize okay never mind character then okay so now for cat to bring the protagonist money, money. to her evil husband he's got to destroy this painting <laughs> okay okay and so what's the plan well this thing's in this super protected vault right so the this plan is, a very is good, hold on, a very let me set long the mood here 
<laughs> the sound in the music, in the movie, I mean. Was that, was that something about That was the sound in the movie. It was so hard to hear. Can you lower that? Can you lower that, please? Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. That was, that was very loud music. Yeah, it's very yes. good music, though. Right, okay, but I couldn't hear what you were saying. It's not going to be like that in the movie, is it? Yes, it, it, it is, will. Yeah, because it's very good music, you know? It's going to build up the tension. I can't hear the talking. But it's good music, though. So then the protagonist oh, is going to have man. this fight scene where he's, like, fighting this guy who's moving in reverse. It's going to be nuts. Oh, yeah, no, that does sound cool. And then we're going to finally meet this Russian oligarch and kind of figure out what his evil plan is. Okay, and so what is his plan? Well, so in the future, the scientists developed this algorithm that could kind of invert the world, right? Because they're all mad in the future about global warming, like we destroyed the planet. Okay. And she split up this algorithm into nine pieces and hid them in the past because they would pretty much end the past and so maybe the future too. And so the bad guy is putting this algorithm together. Exactly. And he's actually dying, so he's kind of like, well, might as well take out the whole world with me as I go out. So he has kind of the same motivation as a kid flipping a Monopoly board because he's losing. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. So pretty we're going to have this amazing car chase scene where some of the cars are moving backwards in time. It's going to be nuts. Wow, 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 wow. And then that wow, cat wow, lady's wow, going to get wow. inverse shot by her husband. And so the protagonist, he's going to risk the whole world to save her. Really well, risky, but okay. Lie. So they're going to invert themselves and start moving backwards through time. And so, and so how does that work? Oh, there's some very cool stuff going on. For example, like oxygen flow goes the other way in this direction. So they need their own oxygen. Oh, Basically, man. everything's backwards. Like explosions make things cold. And so does that mean that like light receptors in people's eyes start emitting light? What? Do people have flashlight eyes? <laughs> no, I mean, please don't think about this too much. How do inverted people poop? Does it go up? Okay, so anyway, oh we're going to travel back in time and we're going to find out that the protagonist was actually fighting himself, but in reverse. Oh, very mind-bendy. <laughs> yeah, so they need to very stop the bad guy from ending the whole world, so they team up with these time-traveling army guys that just kind of come out of nowhere. Oh. And they go on this freaking mission they, they where one team is moving forwards through time, shooting at people, and then another team waits a while and then moves backwards through time through the same fight. And so, like, who are they shooting at exactly? Ah. Oh no. <laughs> really oh no. Shoot really? just kind of but I guess it's like I, I, it's fine. <laughs> that was throughout the so whole like, movie. So the protagonist army guy are going to go into this bunker, but then Neil sees the trouble, so he has to I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on. And there's like a dead body when they get there. He's so sad. He's like, I'm not sure what's going on. Like, oh, so we're not please, please turn that down. Okay, let me turn that off. So anyway, it turns out that Neil actually sacrifices himself to save oh, the protagonist. Man. Okay, so now I think that was entertaining, but also... What just happened? Well, Neil's gonna explain that Tenet is actually founded by the protagonist and that he has a future in the past. Okay. So Neil waited with one of the teams until after the battle and then moved I through can't. it like in I an inverted way backwards in time. But then Rimba, he saw that the protagonist is done. Him, so he re-inverted himself and then saved I'm him with so the hunting. With right. But then after that, he has a little talk with the protagonist and then he has to I go re-invert himself to go take that bullet to save the protagonist's life. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. And so the protagonist is going to keep moving forward through time, but then because inversion is the thing, he's actually the one who founded Tenet at a certain point oh in time. God, we're not sure when. He's, he's the one who so recruited funny. Neil. Sure, yeah, okay, you okay. See, you understand? Do you get it? I, uh, it's a little complicated. I feel like maybe it'll be hard for the general audience to kind of grasp what's going on. Actually, it's going to be barely an inconvenience. Super easy. Oh, really? Yeah, because see, it's going to be so confusing and hard to hear that people are going to want to go watch it a couple times. Is that going to work? It might. <laughs> it is. Uh, seems a little risky. Well, I mean, you gotta take uh, a risk sometimes, right? Uh, it's not like the future of cinema depends uh, on how this I one movie performs. I guess not. Really <laughs> oh, man. This movie, this pitch meeting gave me a headache. So the movie, it also gave me a headache. So you agree? It, yes, it was okay. the most confusing. I thought that you weren't trying to, like, somehow make it sound like it was a good movie. <laughs> no, I gotta tell you right now, I usually love Christopher Nolan movies. I think he's one of the best directors out there, you know, in, in today's cinema. He's one of the best out there, but this one was unnecessarily confusing. It was the most Christopher Nolan movie that Christopher Nolan's ever made, and it didn't need to be this confusing. And everything they said about this movie was 100% correct. First of all, the movie is confusing as it is. And then on top of that, you add this music that you can't hear the dialogue clearly. So you can't hear the characters, which makes it even more hard to understand. I have nothing to say. You have nothing to say. I really don't because I just 
don't like this movie at Man. all. And I, I honestly I enjoy the pitch meeting because yeah, yeah it's like the poor guy was like bleeding. He was like bleeding at the end. <laughs> His brain was hemorrhaging. <laughs> I, you know, I get upset with that. Like, I try my hardest. Uh -huh. You know, like, we have this thing, like, I watch chick flick, you watch, like, I'm like, okay, let's watch this guy movie, right? I just couldn't. I right. could not. Yeah. I could not. And you know what it is? I read this one comment from this critic, and it kind of, like, it, it, no. it pretty much said how I felt about this movie. It says, Tenet is difficult to understand, but even worse, it inspires little desire to understand it. And for me, that is spot on. It was it difficult is. to understand, mm -hmm. but I really didn't care to understand it. Maybe if it was like super interesting and I was really into the characters and the characters were really developed you yeah. and you know more about these characters and you have this connection that you like really want to try hard to understand the movie. But I had no... Desire. I had no desire to understand what the hell was going like, on. Like at one point, this the, the main guy was like in love with the with the woman, and it's like where did that love came from? I don't know where. Like that's what they where. make it look like. There was some love interest. It's like, like some connection it's so there. So freaking weird. Like yeah. I can make an effort if a movie, like you said, if I'm drawn to the character, if I can. Like, you know, yeah. I'm interested to know what happens with that person. Mm -hmm. You know, if there's something there. But this movie has none of that. Yep. None of that. Every character that they brought to this movie was like... Like, like who cares? Where like, this I don't person know came anything from. about them, so I really don't care about them. And like he said in the beginning, it went from just the main character, the protagonist, just, just going from one person, talking to the next person, talking to the next person. Like, oh and every conversation was like super confusing. And another thing of like writing, I remember I, I, I studied this in, in film school, is that when you're writing a script, you never want the characters to all sound the same. Yeah. You want the characters to sound different, have different inflections, have different character traits. And I felt like every character in this movie sounded exactly the same. Like they were all confusing and they were all talking in like riddles. Okay. You know, so for me, Christopher Nolan, I love your movies, Inception, which you did with Batman. Yeah, I like uh, that the, one. Uh, the other one with Matthew McConaughey, Interstellar. That yes. one was good. Memento, good. of course. But this one, dude. Bad. Dude. Bad. I know some people love this movie. Some people are going to be like, oh, you guys just didn't get it. No, okay, we're but, smart people. We get a lot of things. But this movie, but this, I don't think it, it's like... <laughs> it didn't need to be that confusing. It didn't need to give people a headache. And the characters could have been better. Even like when you watch a review about the movie. Yeah. It's still so damn confusing. <laughs> yeah. Even when they, they show the breakdowns of a movie. Like the explanation. Even the explanations oh, of this, this movie, movie are confusing. Just, I'm like done. Yeah, yeah, Move yeah, on. yeah. And I think one of Christopher Nolan's knocks is like people would, you know, critique him on the fact that his characters are not really that well developed mm -hmm. and it's more about the concept. Like this one, the concept was going back in time, right? And, and it's true. And this one, it shows. And this one, it's like the characters took a backseat. What character? The protagonist? Who was he? Does he have a family? Where's he from? Like, what, what is it about this guy? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing is explained about any of these characters, which made me not care about the movie so anyway guys thanks for watching that's our pitch meeting reaction thanks for recommending it guys let us know what you want to see next and uh we'll catch you guys in the next one hit that subscribe it really helps out press that like peace out <laughs> Bye bye